righty. I know, guys. I know um, it's been a little dry on this channel. I promise you, I told you guys they are just finishing up Moosehorn Falls, and things will ramp up on uh, Project 2025. Um, I have um, some confirmations to make in this video today. So I am going to be giving a lot of information um, and dropping a lot of tea on the layout of the coaster in today's video. Um, but yeah, don't worry. Construction is going to start the minute they are done with the concrete work for Moosehorn. They are really far behind. Weather has not helped. Um, but yes, it, they're starting. Uh, markings are starting to be marked up again. Um, but yeah, let's get right into it. So I can confirm that this is going to be an Alpen coaster. So Project 2025 is an Alpen coaster, not a World Expo coaster. And it'll be using Extreme Skyflyer for some grand element, uh, not a station. Um, and yeah, so what you see up in the upper uh, top corner of the screen is a red box. That'll be the station um, using the old Thunder Run. Um, station. The yellow will be the brake run and the green will be a mini launch that then takes you into the mountain that then launches you up into e either a top hat or outside of tunnel one. That's where things are a little confusing. I actually don't think that tunnel one is going to be utilized for the ride. Um, I actually think that's just an emergency evacuation route in case the launch um, fails or the train gets stuck on the launch and they need to get in and get people out. That's my honest guess. I could be wrong, but um, it needed to be reinforced because the coaster actually goes over this tunnel um, quite a bit, two times, and the vibrations of the supports, they might just needed to add that uh, further structural increase to the tunnel strength. That's my guess. So I actually think it's going to do a top hat out of uh, the mountaintop and then head towards Extreme Skyflyer and then it'll head back over to International Showplace and go around the mountain um, towards the break run. Uh, so the only hole that's left to dig is one at the top of the mountain. Um, it will not be re-entering the mountain at any point. It is going to go around the mountain. Um, so that'll be interesting to see. Uh, and yeah, I mean, um, that's all I have for the layout in terms of what I know so far. Again, there's a big red circle with a question mark in it because I don't know if it's going to come out the top of the mountain or come out of tunnel one. My prediction is definitely come out of tunnel one or sorry, come out of the top of the mountain and not use tunnel one. Um, so yeah, it's really interesting. Um, what's even more interesting is the fact that the station location is going to be an Alpen. So the reason we know that is uh, recent markings uh, lead to the end of the coaster being in Alpen and the start of the coaster being in Alpen. So that's how we were able to predict um, the coaster being in Alpen. And yeah, so construction again has not started yet. There are things in the mountain. There are things in there. But um, construction has not started. They've dug up the ground of the mountain to dig footings, but they have not gone in again and done any footings yet. Um, and I'm not quite sure of the grand element that is going to be at um, the front gate, Extreme Skyflyer's Puddle Land. But I have a feeling it's going to be really cool. That's why they removed Extreme Skyflyer for it. Um, and yeah, so we know that the coaster goes up to about 167 footings so far. Um, the only question that remains is where are they going to fit this queue line? Because uh, it's it's a really tight space to put a brake run, a station, and a launch all in that tiny little Alpen themed area, along with a queue line that's going to house an attraction that Wonderland's hoping to be much larger of a success than Yukon Striker. Um, so really curious to see what they do with this. Um, but yeah, I wanted to come out and make a video for you guys because I've been radio silent. Um, but I have been figuring things out and I've... Um, I'm working really hard. So again, as you see on the screen, you have your Intamin, Zamperla, or Premier. Um, I can assure you guys with full confidence that this coaster will not be Mach or BNM, and um, and very little chance of it being Vacoma. Uh, your three most likely candidates are Premier, uh, Intamin, or Zamperla. So uh, definitely fit working on figuring out um, some last little bit of information for you guys. Um, but I think there's some pretty obvious design um, situations going on with the footing layout and all that that are suggesting even further uh, a manufacturer. So stay tuned. I promise you guys there'll be a lot more videos. If I'm radio silent, it means that nothing has started yet. Still waiting on Moosehorn. But I really appreciate the excitement. <laughs> a lot of you have been commenting on my last video being like, where's, where's the next video? It's been like five, six days now. But anyways, thank you so much. Stay tuned. I promise there'll be a construction update, by the way. There is a construction update. It'll be coming out tomorrow. Have a good one, guys. Bye.